The real difference between the new and the old is those who belong to the latter do so because they do not recognise, as we do, that it is the work of trade unionists to stamp out poverty from the land. They do not contend, as we contend, that existing unions should exert themselves to extend organisations where they as yet do not exist. They know the enormous difficulties under which hundreds of thousands labour and how difficult it is for them to take the initial steps in genuine trade unionism and how valuable a little coaching would be from those who have had experience in such matters. But they have not done what they might to supply this. We shall. A new enthusiasm is required, a fervent zeal that will result in the sending forth of trade union organisers through the length and breadth of the country. Clannishness in trade matters must be superseded by a cosmopolitan spirit. Brotherhood must not only be talked of, but practised, and that real grit exists in the new unions is evident not only from the manner in which they are perfecting their own organisations, but also from the substantial way in which they have contributed to the support of other trades. Nevertheless, what we desire to see is a unification of all, a dropping of all bickerings. The cause we have at heart is too sacred to admit of time being spent quarrelling amongst ourselves. We are prepared to work unceasingly for the economic emancipation of the workers. Our ideal is a cooperative commonwealth.